What's up, y'all? So, Winston, this ain't good, man. My boy, I brought him in from the pasture last night. And his leg was messed up, but now the boy limping. Come here, boy. Come here. Man, shit real, real messed up, man. I don't want to cuss too much, but I'm really not happy. Uh, what's even worse is I done talked to three different vets. And they all recommend we give the mans a week in an isolated space because they saying goats heal themselves on their own. And I don't know. I just ain't never heard nothing like that. Kind of pissed me off. So I really want to just take them to the vet. But I'm going to take the advice and probably do five days of isolation and see. Because I really want to get in there and get an x-ray because I know a little something about animal anatomy. And what it is, is the stifle joint. It's basically the goat's, not even basically, it's the goat's kneecap, knee, if you get that. So our knees are connected differently. They have like a joint over their knee and it's kind of like a ball. I'll wait for this to pass. And it's called the stifle joint. And basically his stifle joint is to the left. And I can literally pull it back in place. And so I'm telling the vet this and they all literally two women that I talked to and then a man all recommended give it time. So I mean just Anissa telling me I'm tripping too. But I don't know. Y'all know how I get. These turn into your babies. We done watch Winston grow his horns, grow up with us. Winston attacked me every day, he hurt my knees two days ago, so a lot of love into this man and for him to be limping and favoring his leg it just hurt to see so like i said it's the stifle joint and if you look it up it'll show you exactly where it is on the goat's leg and man i knew what it was called as soon as i could feel it because their knees are a little different and i got this book in the house that i read about the goats i got books on the emu i'll show you all of that um the horse donkey got books on all of these animals so we can know what the hell we're doing it's more way more than just getting them man and that's where a lot of people i feel like mess up at they don't really do the knowledge you see something on facebook or online and you could just buy it because they live next to you so also being a good teacher to anisa because Nisa's learning all of this stuff with me and most of this stuff like with the reptiles from me so what kind of teacher would I be to just give hands-on experience? Um, I want her to see me reading stuff too, so she could be interested in reading stuff. Cause that's how that, that's really how it works. And we get to read this shit together, you know, I mean, excuse me, reading stuff together, watching stuff together and learning together. And that's how it works. And so, yeah, we got, I think like 10 green binders of all the animals we got. We got to get a few more of the reptiles, but emu, goats, all of that, man. And we were like, so as soon as I touched it, I knew it. And Anissa did tell me, we see YouTube videos all the time of goats breaking their leg and they put a splint on it and they do this. And it's like, yeah, I know, man. I know, I'm just a little sad because my boy Winston's leg looked messed up. And he not screaming, he not in pain when we touch it. And also, I don't know how true this is, like, but she also told me the vet that when I move it or touch it, if it's broken, he gonna scream. I don't know. Winston a tough ass goat, so and we close. He comfortable with us, so he might not scream. He might just let us do what we gotta do. Cause you know we relatively beneficial to helping him maybe help his leg. But I guess that's true. If you touch it, they'll show a sign of pain, maybe. And I'm just being overly dramatic. But this is my boy, man. This is my first ever goat. Oh my god, Winston. So I'm gonna take him out of here. And I'm gonna basically build him something that size because this is too much space for him to roam. He needs to be healing. And if you can see, he's barely favoring it right now. But if I get him to move over here, come here, Winston. Come here, boy. You can see that leg. He's favoring it. Man, it just hurts my heart. Oh, Winston. Oh, he don't even want to move, man. Damn, damn, damn. That's what I've been doing. All day. I see we moved the pig pen yesterday. 
And Nisa been doing some cool shorts and stuff, so go check that out. But I'm going to keep looking stuff up and keep doing research, let y'all know what I come up with. But I do know for sure it's the stifle joint out of place. I look it up, man. I don't really find much on that. No, don't walk, boy. Don't walk. Oh, no. <sighs> Damn, Winston. See, he's favoring him. <sighs> Here, boy. Oh, my boy. Like 297 days since we changed our lives and moved out to the country. Today, we're taking our boy Winston to the vet. Two days ago, he hurt his back right leg and he was limping. And he, he wasn't yelling or in pain or anything. Well, it, obviously he was in pain because he was limping, but he wasn't yelling. So we called vets and we let them know the situation and about three vets that he called told us that we should give it a week. And then Two of the vets called back today talking about that was the wrong information and that wasn't normal and that we should bring him in. So we're taking them to a different vet who originally told us to bring him in right away. Right? Yeah. If I explain that right, mm -hmm. probably confusing. But our boy Winston, our first baby goat, is hurt, so pray for him. Let's see. Uh. We made it to the vet. We're just waiting to be called in. Winston Peter in the truck. So we let him out. That's the way that he's favoring. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sleep. 